That was I want to murder him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I made a simple commercial, so miss your chance to buy this half price value of all. Go back a memory to coin on Winston Churchill. Call in the next 10 minutes. Bye now, bye now, bye now, bye now. Infomercials with Corey Stevens and Everybody. Jeremy Cash. He loves laps to shots. Whichever one. Whichever one. Go? All right, tell me when we're starting. It, it doesn't work. Podcast. Oh, Pod. Uh, pood. I'm a pood. Uh, no, I can hear myself now. <sighs> oh, you actually like Check. holding yours? I hold it, dude. Okay, yeah. I'm holding down this I'm podcast, the one holds bro. Hard things in his hand. You're not. Get yourself. You act like I don't touch hard things. Do you hear a buzzing? Yeah, it's right called there. the uh, bigotry buzz. <laughs> Every time. It's only around when I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> when you say bigoted things, it buzzes. It just goes. <laughs> it's like a swear jar. <laughs> it's a modern beat for a modern world. Uh, no? Good. I don't hear anything. Oh, you know what? Let me try the better call saw move. It's just been sitting in my fucking... Product placement? No. Keystone Light. This podcast today is brought to you by Keystone Light. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you that got was, that on that, video. I really do, too. Otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> that went, like, perfect. <laughs> that was so perfect. Oh, my God. I literally was saying it, and you're like, blast him. <laughs> I was just thinking how smart of an idea it was to put my records underneath there. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you get that? I think so. Is it recording? I think so. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God, because that would have not been worth Can't it. Can't get that moment again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could. It would just feel fabricated. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, the, and the splash wouldn't have gone perfectly right yeah. at him. I mean, how's he going to do it? You're going to reseal that can? <laughs> You got another one? We're going to do the whole commercial. Of, this is brought to you by Keystone. Nobody oh, has, nobody has money time. for two Keystone lights. <laughs> 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 it's unheard of. Oh, God. I'm trying to get clear. Yeah. Fuck. All right. We'll keep that. drinking Keystone light then. <laughs> the beer of the... Of the, the lower clear. intestines. Of the clear. There you go. The, the beer. beer of the clear. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> yeah, but then the bigoted buzzing came back. <laughs> Did you mean gay water? Gay water. <laughs> you mean Montucky? Yeah. You know, yeah, Montucky's the gay water. Mm. What does Montucky call? mean? It's is from Montana. A... Oh. God is it... damn, really? I don't know. It's a beer? <laughs> it is I'm a beer. I'm so disappointed in you, jo Jim. Were you going to tell me it's a guy's 13 inch dick or something? <laughs> It's the second you don't longest. Know who yeah. John Montucky, the second biggest yeah. dick yeah. in all of America. Twelve point nine inches in a jar nine. next to Putin's, <laughs> right next to Raspy Rasp. Raspy Rasputes. Yeah. Rasputes. He definitely tucks, right? Oh, for sure. But well, like, no, he wraps around his leg. Mm. Doesn't tuck. He don't need no belt. He, he does the old. It's called the snake. The loop loop. Oh my god. <laughs> the loop sloop. I don't know. You know those. It's not the word I meant to loop. say, but it's what I said. Out with my dick. Yeah. Like the Twelve snake, point nine. The snake that eats itself. The snake. <laughs> the snake that sucks itself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You think there's snakes that do it? Head on me. Sorry. There's got to be a crafty snake out there. That what sucks itself? Just like puts its tail in its mouth. Yeah, that's the... Um, Let me see how far I can get this. <laughs> I think there's actually a condition that snakes do that. Yeah, I have no gag reflux. <laughs> 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 uh, let me just test this out on myself. My I, house is tiny. I gotta, I gotta coil up. I gotta suck on Sally later. <laughs> let me see if I can uh, do this to myself Suck on first. Sally. Why Sounds like a catchphrase. Slower across the camera. Move fast. The camera can't capture the motion if it's slow. Uh, yeah. It, what is this? A fucking T Rex camera? If you move tiny, I can. I think I can go pretty slow. Yeah. If you really <laughs> want me to. No, I, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Whoa. Dude, that's so slow. 
You should be in movies. Yeah. We would, we would save so much on production costs if we just had you <laughs> do the slow-mo scenes. All right. Um, Can you do that with a glass in the air while it falls to the ground? Can you just be like... <sighs> You can control other things going <laughs> slow. Yeah. You can drop things slowly. Mm-hmm. I want to see that. <laughs> I can fall. I can fall very slowly. Tall people are known to fall slow. Yeah. Big Takes head, slow, slow, slow. Fall. slow. We, we fall harder, but we fall slower. Yeah. That's like how, that's how physics works, right? Yeah. No slow-mo. No slow-mo, just full, slow bow. <laughs> Speaking of small... Things, oh. <laughs> you guys. Do you know those little like motorcycles that people ride, like the really small ones, like and the they ride them like in the little gangs, like on like Broadway on like Mondays, yeah, specifically. Yeah, yeah. crotch rocket. How, how do you join one of those groups? You have to buy the bike, and then you're automatically in the group. I yeah, but okay, where do you registry. get? It has like a like a QR code, and then you get a meetup yeah, link. Then you get a meetup. Yeah, that's probably for sure how it happens. So where Nobody's do you buy the alone. bikes? Fifty cc midget. That's what they're called. Rider. Fifty cc's. Well, I know there's fifty. There's probably a fifty c motor on it. I know yeah. that. How, who gets okay. opted to sit in the middle of the lane to block and stop traffic in case it turns into a red the light? Newest. Everybody just keeps going. It's the prospects. Yeah, it's the, the pro- yeah, yeah. Just Have you been in the group? Were yeah, you I'm Were you secret, in the I'm Utah secret, minis? Uh, yeah, I'm, the, I'm in the Utah minis. I bought the. <laughs> I would like punch headlights if anybody yeah. came close. I'd be like, "You don't, yeah. you let these midget bikes go." Yeah, <laughs> can they call them that? Yeah. Is that the technical term? Yeah, yeah. You, you're like opting in to be able. That's the whole reason to get the bike is to be able to use the term midget again. That's yeah. part of it. Yeah, that's like you get that. You get a like. You only get small drinks. Yeah, you're like you, you, you don't know what it's like to have a passenger, and you shake the hand of Mister Montucky himself. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, twelve point nine. Really good to meet you. <laughs> Call back. He's the head. Yeah, <laughs> he's in charge Mr. of it all. Mister Montuck himself. Yeah, yeah. mini bu- midget bike enthusiast. Mm. Montucky. <laughs> My name is Montuck, and I like to fuck. Mm. That's on his. Uh, oh, he's keychain. the one who tucks it. Yeah. I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> he sells merch. He sells Mr. Montuck yeah. talking about. I don't give two <laughs> Montucks. <laughs> don't Mon- trade on this tuck. <laughs> Dude, comedy's so weird because, like, as I was saying that, I was like, don't say that. It's going to bomb. Corey's going to deadpan silence it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys laugh at that shit. I'm like, hey, I'm just, in a good mood today. Okay. okay. That's got to be because it's just comedy so weird. Yeah. Co- yeah. It's called comedy. Well, it never makes of, sense. It's a it's a mysterious beast. Isn't speaking it? of which, I, I did have a problem that's comedy related. Okay, um, do you guys have the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Biased or like prejudiced against wearing shorts on stage? Not really. No, I've heard of it. I I, I think we talked about this once on we? this show, but I'm down to talk about it again. I do think it's frowned upon. It is definitely frowned upon. Yeah. Like, I feel so. I, I feel self conscious when I do it. Do you feel self con? Well, I've seen you wear shorts on stage. I don't do it at shows anymore. That's like a new thing this year. Last I year I wore it, it every do day. With the legs though. Now that I think about it, because I've never been upset about like a dress on stage. No, like I've never noticed that and been like. And you've never noticed. It's different though. It's different because shorts are more casual than dresses. Well, it's well, not well, about well, legs. We, I don't think that True. anybody has prejudice against women wearing shorts on stage. Unless no, it is about legs. shorts. It's about. No, I think it might be shorts. I, I'm. Because, you, you get mad at women wearing shorts. I don't or like have a prejudice mad. against. Not mad, I just don't like. Yeah, I just don't like. You don't like the way shorts. I see it is it's a sign of respect to the producer. And if you show up to someone's show in shorts, you're saying I don't give a fuck about I your agree show. With you on a show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because open mic nobody gives a shit right that's like showing up in crocs or like slippers or just like but i mean if it's your part of your brand because like nobody's mad that sam talent shows up in shorts for a headlining god damn well you said part of his brand like he's he's you said part of his brand but not everybody has that no no that's like an exception shorts you can't just be like short confidence sam talent does it therefore (laughs) it is acceptable yeah yeah, i think it's an outlier thing no no it's like there's not a lot of dudes, like especially a lot of fat dudes, that can pull off shorts on yeah, stage. But, but it's like part of his ethos. I also think the type of people that are like over scrutinizing whether or not they should wear shorts on stage are missing the bigger part of the question. What, they suck. Yeah, yeah essentially, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna go glass half full. Like you should focus more on like being funny. It's not like 
you put more pants on you, you're bad. Like you're still bad. Like you're just missing the bigger picture. Oh man, if only I had two pairs of pants on, I would have killed. Yeah, last exactly. Night. So it's like, Fuck. if you're really funny, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's gonna be like, I wanted to laugh, but he was wearing a sure. cardigan. It's although, like nobody cares. Although, although I will say that, like, I've got white ass legs. Oh yeah, you're wearing my- shorts currently. Yeah, yeah, that's why I brought this. Where up. are you going after this? Home. Oh, so you're not going to like a show or something? <laughs> I might go watch a show, but I'm not on anything. Okay, I wouldn't be wearing shorts. I don't. I don't do shorts on stage because I feel self conscious even when it's an open. So you're mic. specifically wearing those because you're not doing comedy, yeah, 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 essentially. And like I'm trying to be more. Well, I'm also trying to be more comfortable with like myself. So like, damn, that was very sh- vulnerable of you to say. <laughs> yeah, good for you, man. I think that was sweet. Well, was that no? I was literally at Ark yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, I have one pair of shorts. Why yeah. is that? And I had like a, you know, I, it was one of the only times I was sober during the day. So I was just like being introspective and being like, why don't I wear it? Why don't I own any shorts? And it's because like. Ark is a great place to really dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like doing short stuff. I almost bought a mini fridge. Yeah. It was a very like productive oh, that, day for you me. can probably get one of those bikes there. I would imagine what bikes the oh, little the ones. Bi- no, no, one those go in and stolen. They're by swept an up yeah, real yeah, yeah. quick. Stolen by you? employee. Yeah, yeah, because they get first pickings. They get first pickings. But then is it stolen? Uh, Depends on if they pay for it or not. <laughs> sometimes, if you ca- like, if you're the person that's doing yeah. the check-ins of the, the art donations, sorting, yeah, yeah, the, the art sorters, sort- you can just be the like, glove guy, you can grab that bike and <laughs> throw it, literally yeah. throw it in the back, and then nobody sees, it, and then you just take wow. it home, you ride home on it. That's so funny. Yeah, you almost do need like a swiper, no swiping kind of thing with them. <laughs> arkers, no arcing. Arkers, no arcing. <laughs> oh, you caught me! I can't arc now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't arc before six. Um, do you? Did you get anywhere with this? Oh, I just bought shorts. quest of introspection. Yeah, I bought shorts. No, no, no. But that's what I mean. Like you, you were saying like you were trying to uncover why. Oh no! It's because like you don't. I, it's it's always been this thing of. I see. Like that's always been the thing with the way that all the things that you guys have known about me throughout your time knowing me is that it's always been a thing of like me questioning my own masculinity and. Wearing shorts has always been unmasculine. But you're such me. a big guy. Well, I know. But no, but that's what I mean is that like I have the way I was raised and the things that I've done in my life has made me see masculinity through that very small lens of like this is how man is. Is, it, wear is it more frowned upon to wear shorts at a Mormon church or an open mic? Oh, you can wear. Uh, wow. I didn't even think about that. You can't wear shorts at a Mormon church. You can wear a shirt, uh, shorts at an open mic. I don't look down upon people that wear shorts at an open mic. I've just always seen it as like a, I'm just trying to figure out where the root of the lack of shorts. is. Oh no, it was definitely like, it was, it was more, it was my own like mass. It was my own masculinity of like how my parents and like that generation and Utahns would see it, you know, like stoic, don't be emotional. Don't wear shorts because you're a fag if you are. Yeah. Like like that kind of, like all those cowboys things. Cowboys like, don't wear shorts. Yeah, cowboys don't wear shorts. We wear fucking cowboy boots and and <laughs> buckskin <to> condoms. <laughs> How many times have you been in a Mormon church? Um, I lost count. Like if you count my childhood as an adult, twice. Okay, so I'm, I'm interested now. Like what is that like? You're, you're going on Sundays? You're dressing up, no shorts. You're going yeah. with your family. Khakis. What Khakis, do you guys white do? Shirt, tie. And you can't just go there, right? Like you have to be a part of the community, oh, right? No, you can't just no. like you can just slide in. You can go. People are. I thought someone look at was you saying weird. you can't. You can't no, just like. Who the fuck said that you can't go to a, if you know. Well, I don't when the, remember. When you know when the congregation is. Okay, so it is open. Con- yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was kind of like a closed I mean, like, knit people, community. I mean, people, if you showed up in your fucking. Skivvies. Skivvies, then people are going to be a little what like... What is skivvies? Like regular clothes. Okay. You know, like you're, if you're not dressed up more... So you're, is, you have to take it seriously yeah, to yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't be an asshole, although I'm an asshole to Mormons, but like, you know, if you're just going, I would never do that at their place. Like, you know what I mean? Like That's what I miss. I, 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 could, I could be an asshole to Mormons if they show up at my house. That's fine. You're coming to my domicile. But like, 
when I go to their domicile, I'm very respectful. You and play I feel by like, their rules. Yeah, I would do the same thing with any religion. If I went to a fucking mosque, I wouldn't be a dick there either. Like, yeah. it's I'm, I'm not thing. saying be a dick. Oh, I'm no, just I'm like just trying like, to I get a glimpse. Even if I went, like, I, what I'm saying is that if I went to a mosque, I would wear the proper attire. If I went to a Mormon church again, I would probably put on khakis and a white T-shirt, or at least like something semi nice. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, gotcha. it's like a like a diner. Yeah. <laughs> What? What? No, that does not work at all. Where the fuck? Yeah, what does that mean? You, I have never been more disheveled than in a diner. I have been the Do most. Do you dress dis- nice to go to the diner? Yeah. Are you going to Tom? That's diner some Florida like, shit, dude. It's, it's a, three a.m. Get on your right Sunday's here. best. We're going to Denny's, Derek. <laughs> exactly, dude. With your order, don't bring this shirt with the fucking jelly stain. I, I thought that Moons Over My Hammy had a dress like code. <laughs> Moons over what? My hammy. My hammy? Yeah. Okay, that is what you said. Oh I thought you tried God. to say Miami. <laughs> I think that's where the I don't name What is of the sandwich What is Moons from? over my hammy? It's a it's an egg sandwich with ham at Denny's. <laughs> yeah, that you dress up for. Yeah. Because there's a dress code. <laughs> Damn, no, dude. No, no, no. This is the dress code for Denny's. Don't look dead. And even if you do, just act like you're not Yeah, I feel dead. like Denny's is you wear your, your uh, sweatpants that have the mustard stain. Yeah, yeah. You wear open-toed, gross sandals. <laughs> we grew no, no, up. no, they're shoes. They're just open-toed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the people of Walmart breakfast. <laughs> right? I think yeah. you guys are thinking of Waffle House. I no, uh, well, I Denny's I lump the them all together. Of smaller I don't think Denny's is a high end diner. <laughs> no, Village Inn is higher end than fucking. I don't Denny's. think any of those diners are very classy. No, 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 but, no it's the same thing of what we said last <laughs> week of like the Target uh, or Walmart yeah. to like that. Denny's is Waffle House is the save a lot. Mm. Denny's <laughs> is the Walmart, and Village Inn is the okay. Not Target. We're still like, calling Denny's the Walmart, though. Okay, yeah, like, and it's already sure. a step I, up. I'm on your side. Okay, this, this guy's like save a lot. Like, Damn, I'm like, that's like a tie for Denny's. What yeah, the fuck. I you want on denim for Denny's because it's the only thing you own. <laughs> you guys didn't like have to put on extra clothes to go to Walmart. What? I always had to add no, more clothes. You're talking about with your family? No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You put on more clothes to go to Walmart because you're trying to steal shit from Walmart. <laughs> Dang. That's why you do that. No, I don't I steal from the hand that feeds me. Mm. <laughs> did you ever work at a Walmart? No, no. I bite it. <laughs> no, but I did steal a lot from Walmart yeah. actually. Yeah. That's where you steal That's from. That's such a crazy place to steal from. They have so many cameras. Yeah, but yeah. they don't. But all their employees are on food stamps, so they don't care. And there's like a level of like. Is that part of the food value. stamp deal? So we can give them to you, but you can't care about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no more dreams. No, no more opinions. You don't. Don't. You see nothing. You say yeah. nothing. You give food stamps. You get three dollar juice packs <laughs> from here on out on the house. <laughs> I think that's a positive. I think that's a good. I think that's a good trade off. Yeah. Shut your mouth about Big Brother when you get food stamps. <laughs> well, it just seems kind of like paying off the masses to turn a blind eye with string cheese. I don't know if I like it. I'm yeah, fine with that's it. Funny. Believe me, until we get out of this hellhole system. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm kind of ready to get out of this hellhole system too. The more I do DoorDash, the more I'm just like, this country is like three inches away from collapse all right jeremy i got a book for you <laughs> like i just go in there and i know i've mentioned this like where would i like to see the fall of humanity i'm like at a starbucks but no way it's totally at a chick-fil-a dude yeah. Oh god, yeah. chick-fil-a is insane i go there like every day now and there's just like a line around the block double-sided like drive through it's what's just that like other one what's the new restaurant so what's crazy the new fast food place oh the in and out burger in and out you think chick fil is crazy no i i'm telling you man i experience fast food culture every day now <laughs> so i i'm aware of uh in and out burger as well in but out I do think Chick Fil A is insane. It's oh, absolutely it is. insane. I agree. It's not worth it. Heaven is half as efficient as a Chick Fil A. <laughs> like, You're just getting in people through the. Nope. Yes. No. Nope, no. It's like a. It's like a Nazi sitting at Auschwitz, being like, "Work camp. No work camp." Sure. It's just like that. <laughs> Hell. But I just. <laughs> I picture I them like. God as is a Nazi. <laughs> Running out of chicken at Chick Fil A, and then just being like, "Oh, get some tenders from the ice cooler," and they're yeah. like, "No, we're out." And it's like, "Well, when's the truck coming?" The truck's not coming, and then like the line starts to get uneasy. That's when the end of the world it's is like happening. Earl. 
Earl, we got these five fucking kids that got to eat for thirteen dollars. Oh, I can only go to my up. job. I hate if I get my Chick Fil A buzz, <laughs> and then the line just starts freaking out. The Bible doesn't say anything no. about lack of. And chicken. then people just start like <laughs> melting down. They just rip car doors off, and then they just start fucking eating the rest of the potatoes in the building and fucking sucking on those Chick Fil A packets. And then the people outside just start smashing. Pretty their soon, tablets. it's a bloodbath. It's yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> and God, I go with a pun with Sodom and Gomorrah with chicken. Hopefully, it happens Come on, on Evan. Sunday. <laughs> I need a Sodom and Gomorrah chicken pun. I think it's right there, you know. Uh, yeah. It's plenty God just with all it. the words you got. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, it's crazy. This whole country is just strip malls and fast food and fat people and fucking and that angry drivers. like just Dude, like Jeremy people catches. stuck in traffic just like ah, I'm gonna explode Dude, Jeremy you're Cash's getting... road to socialism is so fun to watch <laughs> I was gonna say he's getting very us versus them <laughs> yeah. he's describing uh, the fat people come on start talking about <laughs> class warfare Jeremy come on get me off get uh, me off <laughs> no it's just it's it's Jeff yeah. Bezos should be put to a wall yeah come on Jeremy <laughs> Do you like driving around? Anywho, um, I think you you can answer that question based on this meltdown I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, when I got in the car with him last week. He was immediately complaining about non-existent tailgaters. He's like, "Don't you fucking hate when people tailgate you?" And I've looked back and there was nobody there. Yeah. Like, no, I'm just saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was telling him when it, whenever somebody follows me too close, it doesn't encourage me to drive faster. I slow down. It get I, I love that. I bit. just like troll them, but and I'm the, like, "Fuck, the fuck you, you, dude!" You like you're just inconveniencing yourself in that situation. You're no, like, because we're oh, all because I'm, I'm upset, and I don't want to give in to impatience. And we're gonna all get there in another ten seconds. Yeah, like slowing down three miles per hour doesn't actually change your time that much no it doesn't and you always like whenever somebody cuts me off and speeds ahead shows up early everywhere i always so. see him at the red light like a minute later and i'm like are you happy bitch <laughs> we're both here see, see this, this is this is this is bias that you're going with because you're not remembering all the times you don't see that person in front of you at that next red light because he's already gone you do he have a point there is a confirmation bias at play you're probably right yeah but like, either way, there's, there's there's people sending a Chick Fil A three more up in line than you because they yeah. ran that red light. They're like that much closer to their diabetic death, <laughs> and you don't think about them because they're not at the light. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're already at another Chick Fil A, cramming more in. They got yesterday's Chick Fil A and today's in the car. <laughs> That's the thing that pissed me off the other day. I was at a Wendy's and I saw a sign on the front door telling people that the drive through was going to be closed that night, which is a very, that's only applicable to a very small group of people that go into the Wendy's that day and are also like, I'm also going to use gonna the drive through right. later. Well, this is, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, cause that sign is not relevant to people in the drive through now cause they don't know about it. More and people, people that are just going in, in they're yeah. already in. It's like, Oh, you see the sign. You're like, all right, oh. mental note. Uh, we're oh. going to have to get out of the car it's, tonight. It's crazy. Told me <laughs> we're not going to be Wendy's able to later. go through the drive through. So it's good that we know now. Let me call now. my friend Terry. Yeah. He said he was going to come through the drive through tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so annoying. We should probably tweet about this. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a bloodbath. Hey, guys. If any of my <laughs> In case you guys haven't gotten your uh, read limit on Twitter, I yeah. just wanted to let you know. Oh, I heard about that. This yeah. is like when they ran out of Chick fil A, a Chick fil A. Yeah, sauce. dude. Yeah. <laughs> or Chick fil A sauce. All of my stories are going to end like this now. So like, and then it all went south, and then they started Murdering shouting at Chick fil A. <laughs> God, I hate that place. Employee, employees are getting massive. D damn, DoorDash just gets a lot of Chick fil A. I'm taking it. It's an insane establishment that Chick makes me reflect on the consumption of 7 billion people every day, and it's just <laughs> staggering. It is. Yeah, I can't even imagine one day's worth of Chick-fil-A items, and it's like, we're going to do this every day for a year, boys. And it's like, what? Visualizing. Oh, the <laughs> what are you doing? And they put their fucking employees outside in the hot sun just to expedite the drive through They got like these like 16 oh, to 18-year-old like that. kids that are just like expediting drive through process. And, time, and I've never gone through and a Chick-fil-A like, uh, you know, drive through because I have self-respect as a yeah. alphabet person but yeah. 
Like every time I see them at, at In and Out or Chick fil A or any of those big ones, every single time I just want to go up to them and be like, hey, you know you can kill your boss, right? Or like just you, like, or you, quit. Or you're free. A job. Yeah. Be free. Be free. Go Here, go drive get, a bus. Give me your clipboard. I'm going to throw it in the yeah. fucking uh, air. I need you to be be free. That angers me. Get out of here, you old yeller. You got to understand, they're working with God. I know, but <laughs> there's other places to work with God. God, God listen, there's no, there's no like long line attendant at the pearly gates being like, oh, uh, so which, what sin yeah. did you commit? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you're getting through? I don't think you're Last getting through, name, Can you middle like, initial. Turn around now. You're like 10 away from getting rejected. Just turn around now. Are you the suburban. Bob Jenkins who jerked off in 73? <laughs> I got bad news, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to get two Polynesians yeah. with this? And then Jeremy shows up <laughs> yeah. and he's like, you can be free. Oh, I can. I have yeah. wings. And then he flies away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right over to Kane's. Yeah. <laughs> and Corey looks up and I'm wearing shorts and he's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I could have done that my whole life. They allow shorts in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of like you imagine like Haynes is kind of like the Buddhist way of living. Like Haynes? I imagine, yeah, they probably have a lot of Buddhist employees just having like four simple things. Pray, on the menu. tell, elaborate. What is Haynes, sir? For, first of Canes. all, Haynes. Haynes. Oh, okay. okay. I thought you meant the uh, clothing. Haynes. Yeah, I thought you said Haynes too. I was okay. like, here we go. Fruit of the loom. I want to unpack this one. Last, how's uh, Haynes Freudian a slip? Buddhist organization? <laughs> well, probably their employees. I mean, you know? even so, how is Haynes in? Same question. Because it's so simple. I've also never yeah, been into a Canes. Shit. It's shit. I, I hate agree. Canes. They, bitch, they don't even have fucking ranch or, or honey mustard at their fucking place. That place is trash. Dry yeah. ass chicken, no seasoning, fucking bread. The bread's already. Egg. But like everything else, they, you, you fucking gravy instead of ranch or buffalo sauce or bar. They don't have barbecue sauce Fuck there. Fuck that, dude. It, it's cane sauce. It's all about it's, the cane sauce. It, the cane you sauce like this shit. place? I love it. Where is it? It's here. How many turns? There's can like four. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the DoorDash hasn't. You haven't yeah. sent there. Once. Do you order DoorDash? I wonder. No. Thank why. God. I hate people that order DoorDash. We actually at the coffee yeah, shop. I've never done DoorDash. I go get my own goddamn food. I'm not getting ten dollars surcharge. Yeah, just have right? homemade. Bring it to me. No, for like a drive that you can just listen to some funny podcast yeah. over there. Yeah, even like though I have to walk now, I will still go there instead. <laughs> Music Tom, baby. I know, right? Um, but I was gonna say. Uh, I work at a coffee shop that refuses to have DoorDash. Good. Well, it's yeah. not great for the bottom line. It's They terrible. take like 30% you or something. You fuck over the employees and the customers. The only people that benefit yeah. is and DoorDash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who there's the got to be some small coffee? margin. but It'd be gross by the time it gets to you. It's yeah. all cool. It's not even warm anymore. Ew. And then if you buy it cool, it's probably warm. I got a funny yeah, exactly. story. Yeah, but that's like all the food from DoorDash. That's why I just never, I never understood DoorDash. Yeah. Like. Busy people who don't care about quality. They just want to get calories into their fucking face. Exactly, I DoorDash dude. doesn't even have barbecue sauce. You're goddamn right. There's no extra condiments coming in with DoorDash. <laughs> what? I don't get anything extra with DoorDash. I will blow your mind. There is a Door Mart. It's like a warehouse with like all the DoorDash food. And sometimes you'll get an order there and you go to this like futuristic weird place. And it's just like owned by DoorDash. And it's like a convenience store. Have you heard of the, uh, have you heard of the multi, like, fast food buildings so there's so like there's ghost a, kitchen yeah, kind ghost, of things ghost kitchens that's exactly what yeah, it is. yeah i have because i've like delivered four from different them. fast food joints but yeah. it's just in a fucking thing that only does doorDash exclusively and they don't uh, like there's no lobby ghost there's no kitchens? lobby or nothing yeah. ghost kitchens you haven't heard about this i just heard about this like two weeks ago it fucking blew my mind no i've been to ghost kitchens time. it's another symptom of capitalism it's yeah. fucking disgusting so like you have like a place that it's like four different restaurants restaurants and shit and it's just in like this little building that has no lobbying it's just for DoorDash. yeah and you can order it from like tim tuckett but i don't know where the food or, comes or from kong cuckett's kim cuckett's like it's like this bunch it's of cucks bucket, it's mostly it's cuck food. based i'm a big fan of cuckett's and yeah. buckets <laughs> <laughs> finger licking cucketry chicken and bucket yeah a family size cuck order yeah <laughs> i'll take the table in the corner <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. While a bull fucks my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Roy Rogers goes to town on that twat. Sorry. Thankfully, <laughs> hi, I'm Ozzy. I'm the host. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm on Tuck this yeah. buck and cuck it about. <laughs> Mon cuck it. If you let Mon Tucky take it to your wife, you get 20% off your bucket of cuckets. Would you like your cuckets wet or dry? <laughs> 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 wow, Mr. Montuck is a real tall boy. Yeah. <laughs> you can lick the barbecue sauce off of my cuck. Yeah, bucket. for an extra nine ninety seven. Oh, I'll I'll add the ranch myself. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Home thank, style. Thank you, Montuck. Country <laughs> basted. You know, Kane's the guy. What if that's just his jizz? What if that sauce really is that bad? I just enjoy it because it's cum. Yeah. Damn. I think you'd be fine with that. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're gonna go back now. Like it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that, I, like I think you'd say, "Wow, that's like, impressive <laughs> that they were able to jar up wow. so much of this stuff." And it never, <laughs> this semen never expires. It's kind of no. impressive. It's like yeah. it's like forever plastics, but with cum. It's like yeah. kind of nice. It's like, I want to start a, a sperm bank and a franchise fast food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start Let's, bottling my honey it ranch. It's called Raising Cane. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's because you're going to have his kids. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you eat a watermelon seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I've swallowed seed before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of canes. A lot of canes. And Is then it? the company's cocaine, right? <laughs> Procaine. Procaine. There, <laughs> Pro yeah, there was your the fucking anger. silence. There's yeah, a, it's uh, fine. So there's a little cane about it for a while. growing in me. Yeah. Wow, the seed. Cane. I'm gonna be a mama someday. I'm yeah, be a good mama. <laughs> you can nah, still I'm be a dad and pregnant. All right, come on, be yeah. woke. <laughs> but I'm not. Wake up, sheepert. <laughs> I mean, I'm woke. I'm just not a dad. You're just not mm. a dad yet. No. Not yet. No, you tell you this cane comes out of you. <laughs> Four more tenders, you'll be a father. <laughs> <laughs> Kane just shows up to yeah. your house. That's actually mine. Yeah. No, you can't take it away. <gasps> My DNA. Oh no. Read oh, the inside of the bag, buddy. Flip the bag inside. Yeah. There's a it consent form. Kane, for sure. Yeah. Kane comes and kidnaps your Kane. Yeah, it's like a legend, like in a Norwegian com like <laughs> countries. <laughs> the Sandman. Yeah, we have the Kane man. That Kane it's is a witch. The, is the yeah. boulder of your life, and yeah. then it rolls back down into Kane's arms, and then yeah. takes it home. I've mm -hmm. gotten. I've gotten. And trained. you're left with nothing but empty Kane's packets. I'm confused. <laughs> huh? I'm just confused. That's how Kane leaves them. <laughs> Confused and covered Hungry in but confused. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be covered in Kane? Yeah. I think we found our title. Mm. Kane, I thought We've already had a couple good ones. Mm. I, I thought, don't remember him, but. I thought he'd be more tender. Yeah. No. He's mm. all crispy. How's the little nugget doing? <laughs> <laughs> no. And I'm back. I'm back at the restaurant eating more. So he just comes in, ups at you, puts his hand on his shoulder. <clears throat> I'm going to raise that cane right. It's going to be fine. You look up the employee of the month. It looks just like you. You're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> that is true. I've never met anybody that used to work at a cane. So I just assume they're all perpetually... Yeah. Being either like it's like Genghis Khan. It's like ninety-seven percent of the DNA <laughs> is shared by Arthur Kane. Sauce is in a percentage of <laughs> all Kane people. Conspiracy is amazing. Yeah, this is nice, dude. We went on a tangent. So many alliteracisms I've got. Mm. That is crazy. Just thinking, all the employees there are test tube babies, but <laughs> you know. Created. Oh no, they're not test tube babies. They come from the customers. Yeah, and Kane. The customers come. <laughs> <laughs> Come hungry, leave sad. Watch, there's gonna be a watermelon leave seed lonely. shake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just as a reference, mm. it's gonna be that whole thing. Like we have to let them know, yeah, that these canes are mine. <laughs> <laughs> it would be crazy to give, be handed a bag, and the man's like, "Have a good night," and it yeah. looks exactly like you. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from, <coughs> Dad? Father? <laughs> Mom? Mm. You, yeah, you pull up to the window and they're like, I'm pretty sure I know what you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. And you're like a DNA test. You like, uh, <laughs> we'll even give you the secret honey mustard we only let the donors have. Yeah. What do you mean by donors? You know what? Break I'm the doing. glass. <laughs> <laughs> in case of cane emergencies. <laughs> they splash a special one on you and it just wipes your memory. <laughs> Damn, Damn we got dude. got another. <laughs> I've never been to this place and I talked about it for 12 straight minutes. They only have four things on the menu. Yeah. 
And you know how bad it is if I talked about any chicken? Other fast food restaurant mm-hmm. this long. What kind? Tenders. Shit. Chicken tenders. Tenders. Number fries. two. Fries. They got waffle so, fries, uh, don't they? Coleslaw. What the fuck? To a Texas toast. Are you fucking it. with me right now? No, no, no. This it, place is disgusting. The whole business model, what I think, was based off. We of got only four th- options, and one of them's coleslaw. I don't think it's a good idea, man. Wait, you don't like <laughs> well, coleslaw should be the thirty eighth item on your menu, <laughs> not the fourth. <laughs> I you like know what I mean? And you're not right yeah, on. it's it's just not like a, a main selling no, no, point. No, no, no. no. It, yeah, no. If Welcome to Kane's House of Slaw. It yeah, is it, funny. When you're at a restaurant and they have good coleslaw, you're like, oh, that's pretty nice. But when they have bad coleslaw, you're like, yeah. oh, I get it. It's I'll still coleslaw. take it to go, yeah. please. Yeah, you're like, I get it. It's coleslaw. It's coleslaw. But when it's good, mm. you're like, all right, there's more. I, I like I, good down coleslaw. in the south, they would do pineapple. What? Wait, at Cane's? coleslaw? Pineapple and coleslaw. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like they had a fifth option. Oh. <laughs> menu. Yeah, you can order option. pineapple now. It's like, we don't fucking want it, dude. <laughs> How about a biscuit? Listen, it's like, I no. Goddamn coleslaw, all right? <laughs> One of the last fruits that anybody wants. <laughs> just out of nowhere. We don't and need and that, Cane. It's like, look, we just distract with a simplistic menu while I rob yeah, your I'd seat. I'd rather have a peach inside of a coleslaw than While we're on it, we used to eat a lot of ambrosio salad. What the fuck is ambrosio That's salad? That's fruit diced up and then mixed with mayonnaise. Ugh. Florida fam? <laughs> Who's Dude, we? No wonder Florida's dying. My family, yeah. yeah. You, deserve, you deserve to be put in the ocean. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I all of that. It is sinking probably from the What if that was like a punishment <laughs> for a crime? <laughs> It's like, yeah, you, you, you assaulted seven people, so you have to spend a year in the ocean. <laughs> you swim the wrong state. way. Yeah. <laughs> you end up in Cuba. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you're in the ocean, neck down for a year, we don't care. You can go to Cuba. <laughs> Cuba? <laughs> that's the child's version of Cuba. You want to go to Cuba? Yeah, that's the, gonna... the Minecraft level. <laughs> <laughs> Cuber. You guys literally love this Cuber, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> You've been found guilty mm. of getting Cuba. the raft. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to treat you like an Israeli immigrant. <laughs> Sorry, Palestinian immigrant. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. Yeah. No, I definitely, um, I love Canes. I don't think it's that bad. I like it quite a bit. Well, it would be nuts if you did think so it was the, the menu. That bad. It's genius as a business. Yeah. You have oh, like you have like eight or nine options, and all the options are just variations of the four. Well, items. that's the Waffle House business model. Yeah, <laughs> that is a hundred percent. They go. We got brown. We got yellow. We got you red. Know, you know how I know Canes <laughs> sucks. We've talked about it for fifteen minutes. Still don't want it. No, I think uh, that's I think that's a sign that it's still shit. I've never been inside. I'd much rather go to Popeyes. You know what Popeyes. else is pretty rad? Yeah, Popeyes. Popeyes. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time I went to Canes, they I went pretty late to close. They're open pretty late, which not a lot of places are. All right, that's a plus. So I get to go at like one thirty in the morning, and they had way too much chicken, so they just gave me a box full of extra chicken. What on the house? On the <laughs> on the hizzle, dude. They were, just, they were just trying to get you more pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> they want more canes. Yeah, they're they like, didn't... listen, there we have a we have a um, no. What's the opposite of surplus? <laughs> a negative shortage. Yeah, shortage of canes. Thank you. Back on shorts. Yeah, yeah. there we go. <laughs> These are made for canes. I got a surplus right of legs. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the video. Yeah. Okay. You guys believe in uh, aliens? What? You guys believe in aliens? Okay. Here's the here's the here's the double side of that question. Because what are you asking? Do I believe in aliens, or do you do I believe that there are aliens on Earth? All right. Are separate question. Talking about Different Cuba? question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those are the most alien. aliens. Great if aliens, aliens do you dare talk about? Had a Cuban TV people? show <laughs> about Us. America. What do you think they would find the dumbest about us? Mm. Um, or maybe not the dumbest, because that's a very specific. Like, what are some things they would rip on us oh, for? Oh, they would just show our, like, reality shows. They'd be like, this is Honey Boo Boo Child. This is Overweight and Dying. This is-, <laughs> <laughs> is that a show? <laughs> no. That's it's amazing. The, it's the premise to the yeah. show that is about overweight Overweight people. and Dying is sponsored by Kane's <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> 
<laughs> where we don't allow the contestants to have anything but our chicken. They're not getting any coleslaw I'm until they're dead. Weight, they Get that me. coleslaw out of your goddamn hands. <laughs> you better believe it. TLC stands for tender loving can. Tender loving chicken. Yes, sir. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> um, All right. That was a stupid quote. I was just trying to change the subject. No, I mean, no, no. But because I heard like aliens were in Vegas a couple of weeks ago. Or it something. is true. That's what they keep. No, that fucking. I don't fuck watch off. the news, but I do go to open my comedy. I, no, I think I think that they're. I, I do think that more and more we're hearing he, all of these UFO things that. Yeah. We're not even. See, this is this is what I find circulated hilarious. aloud. They were not put on media Pun. whatsoever. And now podcasts happen. The Internet happened. Yeah. And we can't deny a lot of these things. Wait, what are you talking about? Throughout all of fucking like history, we've all seen like aliens all the time. That's always been in the news. What do you like? It's in the news. all. You're the time. talking like, about the supermarket magazine. That's for crackheads. <laughs> <laughs> or are you talking about like higher? <laughs> that's like a forever. good no, publication. Sky Mall until podcast that is came around. A and good publication. We're doing jokes about it. I never really heard about Sky Mall. That's a place you can shop no, in the sky. Like, 007 how Sky the Mall. Fuck, how the fuck do you say that like we don't hear about it on mainstream news when Roswell was like the thing that it's still talking but about? But maybe today, his like, point is that these technologies have heightened it. Like imagine Roswell in 2023. I would say the opposite. I would the say, coverage might be like like just I it would much be more, I was much more like in the thought that they existed up until all this technology is about. Now I'm like all the things are like disproved. Like it all seems like bullshit now that all the technology is about. Like every time I see like the CIA thinks about UFOs, I've read those documents. They're just talking about just some fucking enemy aircraft that's a little bit more advanced than we think it is. Every time I hear about that fucking Vegas, no, there's thing, been plenty of ones that aren't even explainable. No, no, but they but they never say that they're aliens. They just say that they're UFOs, which is UFOs just an unidentified flying aircraft. No, there's no document that says that the CIA and them thinking that like, no, was, that was definitely an alien. Like there's no documents to say. That. You're thinking of UFA. A. Yeah. UFA. Girl. No, sorry. Unidentified flying object. That's what I meant by UFO. Uh, yeah. But like they all, that's what they all say. None of them say that they're aliens. Not a single one says that. None of those fucking video proof is just showing those things. It's just like I, I guess in the sky and stuff like the that. The first question was valid then. I said, uh, I believe in aliens. Do you believe in aliens? I 100% believe in aliens. I just don't know how much the, the news stories that are perpetuated about are real and I think it's just people like so you don't think they've made fanciful they've made contact I, I don't actually know but there's no definitive proof that they have are you one of those alien guys that's like oh there's got to be microbes on little moons of oh, Jupiter that's, that's, or are you like there's like fucking like aliens that are like we're I, going in our ship and we're I gonna fucking stick to the idea I I 100 percent the micro thing is 100% real. We found, like, microbes on fucking Mars. And yeah. Stuff. That, 100% real. But it's, so all, it's it just, like, to, boring. Like, aliens out in the fucking ether, it's a, it's a question of numbers <laughs> and... I'm like, an alien, and I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm an alien. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're all aliens to I'm some other planet. I'm the first gay alien. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not true. <laughs> all aliens are gay. <laughs> yeah, it's called outer space. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, dance. Where queen. did you come out? Dance on the moon. Space. Queen. You ever heard of it? <laughs> you ever heard of space? We're very prideful of space. I the think thing is, oh yeah. Oh wait, oh wait, you could make the opposite argument because you could just say that like, hey, there's no rainbows in space. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no That's so funny. That's now you're funny. talking like my Florida friends. Yeah. <laughs> but what about the dark side of the moon? Because the other side is a rainbow. It's a butthole. Yeah, that's the <laughs> the gay side of the moon, right? The gay side, the dark side. See of the moon. That's the groomer dirt. side of the yeah. moon. <laughs> <laughs> All they care about is money and Pink Floyd over yeah. there. And the boomer side. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the light side. That's where Jesus puts his light on the moon, mm. so it reflects to us to give us light in the night, so that we can see the demons that are those fucking fags. Wow, wow, <laughs> yeah, that got real mean, real fast. <laughs> Cool. How do you feel about aliens? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, aliens are real. I believe yeah. 100% in aliens. Okay, so you believe that they're real and that they're out there, but you don't necessarily think There's we no have way. evidence captured thus far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like every time I see the actual evidence, it's, all, it's the same see, thing as like with the Bigfoot. Least, this is the least argument that I agree with because it's like the saying that ghosts are real. But we haven't captured one on film yet. No, 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 no. Because it's different. Like 
I think with aliens, we have all these different things that are like, holy shit, how do we have this, like, uh, technology that nobody knows how that region got it? How certain things have traveled from across the U.S. or you the the literally the planet without people knowing how it got across. What there. do you mean? What about like the pyramids? Right? They say like nobody could have made those, but they can. And a bunch of people do say how they made those. And do how they? It was the, yeah. I only watched the first half no, of the documentary. The thing, you're only watching like ancient aliens and yeah. bullshit like that. You're not actually watching actual scientists who actually. Well, you don't know that. They know where it came from. They I don't mean, know how it was made. It's a much more logical. <laughs> I go with Murphy's law that the most logical explanation is better than some. That's fantastical. not Murphy's law, dog. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. What is Murphy's law? Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Okay, yeah, you're right. What's, what am Mur I thinking Scruffy of? Murphy's Law. Yeah, yeah for yeah. example, Quinn Wait. Johnson might one day host this. What is, Anything what, what that can go of? wrong will go wrong. Like the easy, <laughs> what's the one where it's the most easy, the easiest explanation is usually the right one? Occam's Razor? Yes, thank Get you. Get the fuck yeah. out with your Murphy's Law <laughs> talking shit about, oh, you only watch the ancient aliens. Yes. Why don't you shave your face with Literally, this razor? Like, well, shave your face, my po my point Shave your face with some mace in the dark. There's been a bunch of legitimate scientists who have like, <laughs> talked about how the pyramids could have been made and how it was much easier to explain it with just like we just threw slaves at it than aliens fucking did it. Aliens is such a fantastical answer that but I even why? the number of man because it's because there's no actual evidence of it other than like perpetual evidence that you just already put the solution on it, then you just say the evidence. You're like, well, because I don't know how they could have done this and it had to be aliens. That's ninety percent of the evidence that fucking ancient alien dipshits do. Mm. Well, yeah. I just heard they were real heavy. Yeah, but like they figured out ways that they could have done it and they've demonstrated it and they've done it like for I real. thought that yes, would set the them logs, off. They've done it. Like they've actually done these things. Mm. They've it's done possible to move one. No, it's at possible a time. to move two. But the amount of time that it would have taken to do all of those pyramids, yeah. no way. Yeah. That's why it, yeah, it took a long fucking time with but how do you get a, in human uh, lives. These, the ancient people, like, did things on a much bigger scale than we're so used to as a modern society because we can do them like that. As back know, then, they dude. were just like, ah, it'll take 500 years, it's fine. What do you think's worse, uh, that, making those, or the Chick-fil-A drive through as a 16-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Chick-fil-A. Keep it going, Definitely. keep it moving. Come on, come on. I'm a <laughs> it's the slave. same guy, it's the same fucking guy They're who made those pyramids. Actually, he's just like 800 wrong. generations there's, later. There's, he's there's outside. Of, uh, fucking not being such slavey in mm. the back those times. But there were definitely slaves at the same time. So how like, come, what, when you're talking about these pyramids, these are the Egyptian pyramids, well, right? Of course. You're so not glad about I brought Mayan this up. Pyramids well, because those were built by Mexicans. We don't ask who built those, right? Oh, no, we people do the same thing with the Mexican ones. It's just that, like, there's a lot. I think we're There's pretty sure it was just the Mexicans. Oh, yeah, exactly. But Are you doing I'm, a bit or is this a real question? That's a bit. Okay. It's a bit, but at the same time, he's right that, like, nobody questions it because it's Mexicans. <laughs> so then why not just say the Mexicans made the, the Egyptian oh, pyramids? that's the new conspiracy. I'm down for this new conspiracy. The Mexicans <laughs> built the Egyptians' pyramids. They just outsourced the labor. <laughs> I told you it was aliens. <laughs> Legal, dog. Illegal. We're we gonna build a wall and we're gonna make Mexico dude, no, do it. No. We're gonna build a pyramid, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn lefties want open borders. Yeah, there have been open borders never in time. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Immigrants behind this pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Pyramid scheme more like a pyramid dream, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be such a great name for a shady like marketing firm. Pyramid Dreams, Inc. All I'm saying is that <laughs> I really want to fuck an alien. I just don't think that there's any evidence that I have the ability to. Yeah. Right now. That's all he's saying. He's been saying it for 42 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying, dog. All the stuff you know about me, it's a yeah. lot of big mystery, but yeah. for sure what you know is I've been trying I, to fuck I an alien. I want to fuck an alien. I just don't know if I can, but if I ever can, I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> I got so close. I That's why I'm wearing shorts today. Binary. I was like, you got to be an alien. And yeah. He's like, no. And I'm like, That's not binary. Fuck. And then he mm. left. Yeah. You, you've got gray pride. <laughs> <laughs> why do they have to be gray? Why, why, why can't we have blue aliens? I don't see Only color avatars. in aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Only in human beings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for laughing at that. Half of the room. Think, okay. How about this? Aliens touch down. Not that football. sounds like Corey <laughs> fucking an alien. He's like... Touchdown, baby. Touchdown. Uh, yeah. 
I'm going to phone you home, girl. <laughs> Aliens hit Earth. <laughs> Where do you think they do go? If, if it's not Las Vegas, like the, the video, or New Mexico, or I wherever mean, it was. First, like, first of all, if you have, like, I always go with the argument that if you have the technology to get to Earth... Mm -hmm. You probably have the technology to conceal yourself that nobody sees you because it's just like a mm. it's such a far it's such a far reaching like our closest, you know, Earth like planet is light years away. So yeah. if you have the technology one most likely going to be robots. So you coming. think you're going to be incognito? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, they're going to fuck me invisibly like in scary movie too. Like it's going to be like one, like one of those. You're things. like their their private browser. Yeah. <laughs> I'm incognito. We're going to erase this after we're done. I'm getting murdered after we fuck. Your brain sure. is no me no history of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I have a vague like ass or <laughs> I got a vague ass. <laughs> yeah, like huh. I have this like fading memory of a gray booty. Yeah. That's just like going in and out of cognition. In and out. I'm trying not to burp into the mic. I really am. Yeah. <laughs> just for Jeremy's sake. What? <laughs> oh. Alright, let's get this intro music on. You ready? As we're like forty minutes into the fucking <laughs> episode. <laughs> How many? How long are we into the episode? Uh, it's got to be at least forty-five minutes. Forty-two years. Wait, you don't feel it? It's not in enough. It's not in enough. All right, here. Well, we'll, we'll put it in fully. What oh, the fuck yeah. is he talking about? I miss infomercials. So Don't miss your chance to buy this half-price valuable. Go back a memory to coin out Winston Churchill. Call in the next ten minutes. Buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now. Infomercials with Corey Stevens and Jeremy Cash. Can the video hey. version of this hear that song? It will. It is okay. sentient. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I like the song. I am the video version. I am the video. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we prove aliens are real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just start to play You music. just want to know if you're dancing, can people know why you're dancing? Yes, that's literally it. Yeah, because yeah, I just don't want to be like, wow, it's silent, and he's just really yeah. getting into it. No, once an episode, Corey has a seizure. <laughs> a very coordinated, animated everyone seizure. everyone just stays quiet for it. Yeah. Because <laughs> we let the free market deal with your seizures. God, dude, could you imagine if we had a wooden spoon yeah, I'm not gonna in the podcast room? I'm not going to regulate your seizure. I could imagine. Just for seizures. Oh, the seizure spoon? Yeah. <laughs> and what do we poke? <laughs> what are you smacking me on the head? What is this? Put it in mouth. That helps? Yes. Yeah, so it doesn't bite help. On it. It is it worse if it's a fork? Tongue. Yeah. It doesn't help you with the seizure. It keeps you from bleeding Speak out. Speak for yourself. I went to seizure school. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how wait, to use the spoon. Wait. In seizure and it school, helped. do they teach you how to treat other people with seizures, or do they teach you how to deal with seizures yourself? In seizure school, if you got a C, it's an or F. Is, is it just an, or is it is it a is a school of theft? Um, it's the school. <laughs> yeah, all of our calculators are stolen. You're gonna learn how to. God damn, it's fucking. Hot. I like Jeremy's, it. I should have listened more. Jeremy's just talking about where he learned how to make hot and ready pizzas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little seizures. <laughs> 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 Listen, is if you start repeating words, like seizures. if you start saying the same word twice, that's a sign of little seizures. <laughs> <laughs> seizure, seizure. <laughs> God, we we need to get some corporate money for this episode. Yeah, we've plugged so many seizures out. Yeah, I would love for that to exist. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a minute. I'm sweating. Does it cause it? Does it prevent it? Does it help yeah. with it? Also, we need a silent fan in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until winter. It would be cool. We just have one guy. Who's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> I'm your biggest. God damn it, Evan. Yeah. I'm your biggest fan. Yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> but he writes it on a notebook because he's silent. Because he's silent. And then he uses that notebook yeah. to do this and then Corey's like can they hear him on the uh on the, on the video version does the video know he's real <laughs> <laughs> i know he dressed we're in like a bunny costume we're like, but... i think he's real but yeah he's and then he's like i'm actually an alien and then Corey mounts him immediately <laughs> <laughs> Mount Lucky. as you know as, as I've been saying for years, for years I'm trying to fuck aliens, aliens, but I don't know if <laughs> I can. Don't, don't you dare you make an alien around me. 
<laughs> I'll mount. That's so funny. You know what I did? I did go down a rabbit hole of Corey, your skateboarding videos. I saw that. I was going to bring that up. You fucking liked them like an ex that's been watching yeah. me after a while. Yeah, and I wanted you to know. Were they good? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few clips in Were there I'm proud of. Yeah, this guy ripped, dude. Where, yeah, back nice. in the day. When I, what what year are we talking about? Like fo- like before I moved here. Like 09, 15? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't like fucking 19. know. 19. How old are you? Yeah, 31. Jesus. So 12 years ago would have been 19, which is 2011. I said 09. Oh, no, no, no. I'm off by two fucking numbers, dog. Yeah. Sir. I did think I, 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 I bounced around knowing which ones you guys were talking about. You did? Yeah. yeah you 19 age and 2019. 2019. Yeah, 2019. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So you were like just like some 27 is, year old man. This is yeah. literally Jeremy's bit about the house being like, I'm glad I know if it's 200 yeah. <laughs> BC or 2018 AD. <laughs> I was ripping after yeah. Christ died. <laughs> Pop shove it. <laughs> you invented the Christ there. Yeah. Oh. No, that was a soy. The soy sauce. The soy sauce. The soy sauce. <laughs> that's where that's where you get a raisin cane, the set of branch, you get a soy sauce. Right? <laughs> so you were looking at Corey's ancient photos from nineteen. <laughs> yeah, hieroglyphics did those tricks. I don't yeah. know if you guys know this. There's no evidence otherwise. So that means <laughs> aliens you wrote did those tricks. Alien alien workshop boards. I did. I love alien workshop. Back in the day, that's now a truck sucks. company or something. No, it's a board company. Board company that sucks now, but they were used to be the best. All right, yeah, yeah, I they were up down. there. Shout out Grant Taylor and uh, Grant who's Taylor. He, who's the guy? Who the, who's the guy that does a uh, hockey? Jason Dill. Shout out Jason Dill. He does it. And Anthony Van Van Van. I heard that guy does tongue hockey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's tongue hockey? That's where you make out with a guy. That's where you put <laughs> tongue. I, I thought it was where you put a put a put a ice cube on your tongue and then lick a puss. It's ice hockey. And then guys. play three periods. <laughs> <laughs> Goal. Ow. <laughs> can't believe you're wearing those mini skates. <laughs> you they really hurt. His goals just <laughs> undefended right now. You put skates on your fingers. It's like a little. <laughs> yeah. You're slicing my skin. I know yeah. I'm getting some sick air. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I untied you from the radiator, okay? Speaking Stop of, complaining. Uh, I like skates. hockey because we are allowed to fight. Yeah. Uh, we got to go. Um, We got to go to the Denver Art Museum because they're fucking, there's a tech deck. Like, Hot damn. Like mural, there's like a tech deck what? fucking like dude. There's a tech deck thing at the Denver Art Museum right now. That's tight. There's like a skate park that some dude made. That's like fucking an artist dude. A like, fingerboard display kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like Miss Infomercials park. goes to the museum. Dude, Denver I'd be down for that. Let's film it. The Denver Fart Museum. The Denver Fart Museum. Uh, All right, you guys have fart <laughs> the mics. One, two, three. Butt plugs. Uh, I'm gonna fart. You gotta coordinate this when I'm eating canes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then I'll fucking go for it. Yeah, dude. Give me some of that cane slow. <laughs> well, coffee and beer today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I made myself, ooh, I made myself a, a Philly cheesesteak homemade. Whoa, it was really with good. like steak them? Yeah. It nice. was actually really good. I was like proud of myself. Mm. It was more spicy than any Philly cheesesteak I've had in my life. But He was proud of himself. Then he looked down at the shorts. He was like, mm. <sighs> sir. No, Only I'm one never, manly, one manly shorts, move okay. today. <laughs> Philly cheese steak and shorts just doesn't compute. It's a break even uh, in Utah. This must mean the aliens are alive. <laughs> <laughs> a lions. Um, a lion. A lion. A day as a, a lion. Yeah. A lion. A lion. Whoa. <laughs> a lion. Oh. Everybody uh, likes an I lie. Um, On you my know, back. rare. <laughs> something Big we uh, something we don't do on this show, but I think we should do, is do a little bit of plug-in. Yeah. I think uh, if you guys want to throw out your shows real quick. Some people do this in the first 10 minutes. We're doing we do it at the, the back end. end. I got yeah. a light, light July, dog. I don't have that many I, I, I have dates. a light July, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, but hey. I do have the most important one, which is... Punchline Jeopardy. Punchline Jeopardy. July 13th, next week. I don't know if this episode's going to be out in time, but if it is... Come to Wide Right, 10, 15 p.m., July 13th. We're going to have the American version yeah. of Punchline Jeopardy. 
Yeah. Right on, Which dude. is really every version, but this one's going to have more stars and stripes and a lot more colonization. So, I mean, like, we're right there. Yeah. And it will be sponsored by Cane's Chicken. It will be sponsored by Cane's Chicken. I will eat. I will put a Cane's Chicken tender in my Unfortunately, not stage. the chicken, the other three items. <laughs> <Yeah>. Cold slaw. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonade that doesn't have any they sugar They give the in old it. chicken to Evan and the rest to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have anything to plug, quite frankly. The brunch? Yeah. I'm not affiliated with that. I don't know if you knew that. You just no, for some reason I always thought you were. You I haven't. On it like three times. No, I, I started that with those guys and then we we like broke up. Okay. Did, in you, like, did they break up with you or did you break in up like with them? In like March. And people have been like bringing me up on shows as like, this next guy's got a sweet fucking brunch show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like... Okay. <laughs> All right. What about up with who? What about your? Uh, it was mutual. Golden reps. That's my sort of business. I mean, I guess I have. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Check out my website. Also, you need goldencomedyreps dot com. I am actually making some hot sauce. A lot of people have been coming up to me in the last seventy two hours and, and saying I'm, things about hot sauce. To I'm me. not gonna lie. You're I like the want, fourth person in I two days. I want to put this on record. I really. Really need you to make uh, ghost pepper blueberry again. Like I okay. really need that. This girl slid into my DMs yesterday about that for? sauce. Well, yes, dude, it's your. It best wasn't the one. blueberry one because like I changed it a little bit. I, it turned to dragon fruit. I just swapped the recipe. But you're essentially talking about the wait, same sauce. Wait, not the scorpion dragon fruit. No, I it's that one too. I took the blueberries out and put dragon fruit in, and it's nah, the same recipe. No, no, do the ghost peppers with the blueberries. It's so good. It's the best one. I don't even done. remember that recipe at this point. I think you just said it. You just do the regular recipe instead of instead of blueberries instead of dragon fruit. <laughs> no, but then it has it without the, dragon fruit. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't I, yeah, that sounds like a long time ago. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm making a batch. You had a lady slip Soon. in and what sauce? Slip in, dude. dude yeah. yeah. Not your sauce, but your sauce. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> what if you were like, hey, I don't got any hot sauce, but I do have cum? Yeah, <laughs> but I do have a <laughs> deep cavern in my heart that needs filling. And then I say, "Hey, where'd you go?" <laughs> She's like, "I don't need this. I don't need this. Bad. I wanted to give you ten dollars yeah. and be done with you." Don't treat our relationship like a drive-through. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just the tendon outside. Drive-throughs closed after ten, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it might be coming soon. Some new, some new, not new hot sauce, but some old. It, it I do, okay. but it's yeah. like, it's not the one you want. I bought some stickers and some bottles, but it's all for one flavor and it's not that one. Oh. So. I mean, as long as you have a label on it, just felt, it felt weird getting a naked bottle of hot sauce. <laughs> okay. I like the label. I got you, Especially bro. Especially because your Instagram's still the fucking label and it's still the name. Oh, that's actually um, the second um, graphic I had made by Kira McAllen. Shout out. Shout out. Cures the shit. Yeah. The comedy monster, baby. Say Oops. that again. Man. Fuck yeah, Jim yeah. Gaffigan. He's a comedy up. monster. No, he only does compliments when he unplugs them. <laughs> <laughs> he turns it up for puns. Yeah, yeah. This next guy. Very femme. <laughs> 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 This is um, gonna kill on YouTube. <laughs> no, I, to answer your jokes. first question at the very beginning, what did you feel about the YouTube? Because I was in the bathroom, I said I'll answer it, and now I'm ready. <laughs> 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 it looks great. I love the symmetry no, of the two waste. people. I love it. I feel like we were like, oh, we got to have like person, 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 but it's like, no, we don't. No. This is fine. This is the good. quality is nice. I like what Evan's you've done here. Seen as he should be, it's perfect. I think it's very. I do want to get my face in a corner. I think. Uh, I'm down with that. How so? Do you mean your in his real corner. face or like a picture of Evan? <laughs> My uh, <laughs> 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 Cuz you said like your face in a corner. I'm like are you talking about a mosaic? <laughs> like like what cover like Richard just cover <laughs> Exactly. And then we'll be good. So hey, is that a new John Wayne poster? It's like that's fucking Evan, that's dude. Evan. Just says John Wayne Evan. Oh, John well, Wayne Evan Gacy. Evan doesn't turn into that John Wayne of podcasting by yeah. raping people. Do All do right. do. I wasn't gonna say none of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's 
Listen, I'm the only one that knows history around here, so. Corey makes these insane statements. <laughs> he makes up words, and then he says, I'm the only one educated on this fucking Wait, podcast. Every single time that this has happened, I've disproven you on that. Mm. You didn't. What, what was the last time you believed that was real, and I proved that it was? No, uh, John. I Ray. can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, dude, it's real. <laughs> it's, it's not butter. It's, it's not. not but, it's crazy. not even butter, dude. UFOs. <laughs> yeah. Aliens. Aliens. That's proof. Cool. That's more of an argument than like an actual historical thing. Yeah. Like. Uh, but wait, what did you mean? Your face in the corner. I'll have like a little, you know, like a oh, uh, like a camera on the camera real right Evan. There, yeah. What do you need to make that happen? Because this, I feel like this is going to be Come like on. one of those things where it's like we have one nice camera and then the other one sucks, and then it looks weird because they're together. Yeah, but this will be like a nice little small uh, screen in screen, so yeah. it doesn't need to be no, it super high quality. Big. Do you know how to do that? Put it no. Put it over. You don't figure. know how to do that. Cash's face. <laughs> oh, I could wear like a helmet, like a <laughs> flashlight helmet. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. put a green screen helmet on. That way you can project it onto the yeah. helmet, and then it's just a sphere. And then my like face the is new, just. It's like the new Las Vegas sphere, but in a podcast. Or like the nine eleven buildings getting hit. It's like what the fuck happened to this podcast? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're just going for Nylon shock value. Make that for us. That was us, the thing. Yeah, remember we were gonna have us drawn as the two towers. With it was Evan definitely like in my brain, but it. must have been, must have been that. Never reason. made it for me. That September episode. Yeah. Oh, it's coming up, and yeah. I'm gonna leave right there. Where are you going? Uh, North Carolina. That's something I should plug. I got it. Oh, oh, for a festival, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that's the dope, the dude. Festival. Second year in a row, I was invited. Mm. Nice, mm. dude. Hey, still not doing a headline set. Second year in a row, I was snubbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Did Again? You, did you <laughs> sub- apply to it? I paid for your fees for four years, buddy. <laughs> still. <laughs> On behalf of Mr. Stevens, <laughs> please accept this bucket of Cane's chicken. <laughs> And unmarked hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> this is coleslaw. This is the good shit. All right. All right. You guys ready to wrap her up? Yeah, dude. I, I didn't even know, but yeah, I guess I am. I think we're at an hour and 10, 20. I think we're right there. Hot Perfect. take. Hot take. Hot dip. Hot UFOs. Hot semen. Raising canes. Hashtag. Brought to you by Keystone Light. Taking my sauce. Spill it on your co-host at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> Spray. <laughs> Spray. <laughs> oh, that was a good episode.